P.S. Veters, tis I, Mike Martins, your handheld junkie, and I spent a whole week playing Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified for the P.S. Vita. Let me tell you how that went. The single-player campaign in Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified consists of objective-based missions that players can revisit to improve their performance. The single-player part of the game is actually titled Operations that has a main story of the game with an addition of Time Trials mode which has a player running and gunning down wooden enemies and beat the time. The game features single-player, multiplayer, and hostile modes. With the game, taking place between Call of Duty Black Ops and its sequel, Black Ops 2. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you a really up-to-date, frank, true, wholehearted review on this thing. And I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5 stars. It does have some pretty bad reviews online. The reception from the game wasn't well received. I just had a lot of troubles passing some of the missions on very easy mode. There was a lot of timed missions that you had to get through that took me literally an entire day to clear a two-minute mission because your time for two minutes you got to get through it at a certain time and sometimes every move needs to be calculated in those two minutes and you have to rehearse and rehearse and rehearse and it was like a broken record i finally got past the second mission which was i couldn't believe how hard it was if you guys give it a try and play this game you'll see what i'm talking about and actually see wow so I finally got through the second mission. Third mission was okay. Fourth mission was better. Um, I cleared it on easy. I tried playing it on more difficult mode. I had a really tough time. The game itself, for what it is for the PS Vita, I think they could have done a little bit better job. Uh, the story could have been well a lot better written. I, I was very disappointed with the story on it. But the game, all in all, is a great first-person shooter if you just want to sit back, you know, fire off a few rounds... Have a good time. Uh, just, uh, I, I would suggest it for that. But if you're a really diehard Call of Duty Black Ops fan, you would be just slightly disappointed with this. Um, they did try to clean up the graphics a bit. The game was flowed very well. There was very little to no lag. The game did offer uh, options with uh, modifications of weapons and upgrades and weapons. Um, I did enjoy it. To a point, but the difficulty level was just really, was kind of harsh. And I've played a lot of first-person shooter games for handheld uh, systems. This has probably got to be one of the hardest ones I think I've ever played. But, did I enjoy it? I did have fun with it. I, I think the game um, did offer a good level of entertainment. I think the game did offer a good level of... Um, flow nice to flow but to me in my opinion i think it was a little bit too short i think uh story mode could have been a little bit more cleaner and i'm looking at the the, the reviews here from review scores from g4 they give it a 0 0.5 out of 5 and then game informer gives it a 3 out of 10 and then giant bomb gives it a 1 star out of 5 ign gives it a 4 out of 10 and 3 news gives it a 1 out of 5 stars so yeah the reception for the game wasn't wasn't was it was a highly anticipated game when it came out and it was a flop when it hit the shelves yeah poor call, call of duty black ops de declassification they could have spent just a bit more time on it um the sound was great i i think some of the background music and ambience and some of the noises and uh, sound effects i think that was great the flow was great the story should have been better the the um some of the missions missions shouldn't be that complicated. I want to know what you guys think. If you did play Call of Duty Black Ops, if you had the chance, this game's hard to find. It's not really available everywhere. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoy this game, if you've given it some time, what do you think in the comments below? Am I wrong or right? Let me know, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll be reviewing tons of handheld video games for you guys. Handheld is my way, handheld is the game, and handheld gaming is basically going to take over the console system, the console world. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.